Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon for Nintendo Wii U. We are headed online for some more PvP turf wars, but definitely check out my Hero Mode story playthrough if you want to see the awesome single player mode. There is one shop that I haven't shown you guys, and it's not exactly on the up and up. This sneaky little creep here is Spike, the sea urchin, and he is very important, so let's talk to him. What's happening, mate? Hmm. Now who are you then? You a cop? Nah, you're too fresh to be a cop. That poor little super sea snail is so terrified. For good reason, there's a bunch of empty shells over there. But you know what would make you even fresher? Someone else's gear, that's where old Spike comes in. You ever see a bloke strolling around the plaza in some right fresh gear that you fancy for yourself? Just walk up to that bloke. Check them with A and then press X to uh, order their gear from me. Uh, I can't guarantee I'll get you gear with the same abilities, but it'll look just as fresh. Trust me, love. Right then, uh, I'll be waiting for your order. So he either steals gear off of other players, although they, ne they never actually lose it, or he like makes a knockoff because he can't get the exact same abilities. But he will also sell us super sea snails later on in the game that can upgrade the slots on our gear for more abilities. And speaking of buying gear, this guy, I saw this guy's shirt, it's so awesome. It is a rugby shirt, but it looks just like the Lucas shirt that I have on my Minecraft skin. So I'm gonna try to order this from Spike. And this is how it works, you just find the piece of gear you want, and there you go. The main ability is the most important one, and it's gonna have increased run speed for my inkling. So he can only get one item a day, and you can order up to three, I believe, because you see that we've got open orders and you can cancel them pretty easily, but he can only get you one item a day. So tomorrow, he will have that shirt for me. All right, let's jump online. Okay, starting off with Walleye Warehouse, the classic. And I'm actually using the charger, the weapon that I'm not that great with, but I've been practicing a little bit. Ooh, we got two chargers on our team. Gotta be careful. I think I'm getting quite a bit better at it, so hopefully we'll be all right. And this map I know very well, so I can use all the fancy sniping spots to uh, lay down ink and protect our base. There we go, just jump over here, quickly splat a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna start throwing some bombs down there too. Hopefully we'll get some of these guys. There we go, I got one already, or somebody else might have gotten him. Ooh, there's a guy up there. Get him, there we go, protect my teammate. Make sure we get that and constantly be charging my ink. This is a good spot here. I could go in the middle, but I'm a lot more vulnerable there. So I'm going to wait over here and uh, hopefully this will work out a little better. There's another charger that we can get from the story mode. Ooh, there's Krakens everywhere. The, the one in the, the story mode is the uh, from the second boss, so we should have that pretty soon. But that one is the uh, the kelp style one, and it has a sprinkler sub weapon, which is really cool. And I believe it's got a uh, oh, there we go. It's got the killer whale special, so it might be a little better. There's that guy. Oh, I almost had him there. I'm gonna try to use my bomb rush here though, because there are guys all over the place, and this should help cover terrain. Bombs away! There we go. I got somebody with it. Got to readjust my camera there. I was going crazy. Oh, somebody's got an Inkzuka, and they splatted me. I stayed on that perch for quite a while, though. But as you can see, yeah, if you find a good perch and you can protect it, you can really dominate an area in the game because you just, you know, regard it with your, your high-powered charge shots. I just got to be careful because they know I'm up there, and I got a lot of kills, so I think they are... Uh... Oh, jeez. No, no, no. There we go. Oh, almost had him. There's a sprinkler there, and there was a guy. Get him. Oh, jeez. Let's, uh, let's jump down, maybe. Oh, the killer whale took out two of them there, I think. I'm gonna try to get a, a uh, splat bomb going to throw right there. Oh, I missed him. Uh, let's get that roller. Oh, no. Yeah, we are not getting a lot of this terrain, so I gotta be careful. There's a guy right there. But he's getting away from me. Get him. There we go. <laughs> I need to splat my platform a little bit, so I've got some more room. There's somebody right there. Ah. <laughs> Getting a lot of kills, but we are still losing in terms of train, so I gotta be extra careful. Maybe I should find another sniping spot here. They, they've been looking for me this whole time. All right, go, go, go. Throw out a bomb. Try to get some of this terrain covered here. We're in trouble otherwise. Oh, jeez. That person's got crazy range on their weapon, whatever it is. There they are. Get him, get him, get him. Let's use the bomb rush. Oh, no, no. I thought I had it. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I thought I heard the bling, like my special, and I hit the button and, uh, got splatted there. All right, we're going in. We can do this. We're going to come back from this one. Just need to be extra careful here. There we go. The beep was my uh, my splat charger charging up. That's what it was. All right, I think I need to go. Oh, <laughs> did I get that guy? Man, 
they're using the 96 gallon. That's a very big ink tank, and it has a lot of power. I think we're going to lose this first one. Man, I was doing well at first, but I uh, couldn't come back from a lot of those deaths and cost my team a little bit of terrain there. Yeah, they really got the middle. All right, two chargers on a team is probably not the best idea. So hopefully we'll do better once the teams are shuffled. Because, yeah, you have more than one support class. You're not going to be inking as much turf. And we had two rollers and two chargers. Let's see how many kills I got. I still did okay. Got five kills, four deaths, though, mostly from that one guy. We're a lot lower level than some of these guys, though. All right, upgrading the gear, and let's head into another fight. All right, salt spray rig. So yeah, you can see the charger uses a lot of finesse and skill to do well with. And uh, I'm the only, ooh, we got a good balance team here. But yeah, it's uh, it's a little tough. If, if somebody gets too close, sometimes I tend to uh, flop around like a squid out of ink. So I gotta be careful with getting into close range. I think I can improve on that a lot. I just need some practice. There we go. All right, but yeah, I, I just started playing this more seriously practicing last night. So I think uh, I should be improving eventually here to where I can do really well with the charger. I do like it a lot more than originally when I started out. I'm gonna try to get a good spot up here and uh, see if we can we can hide up in this spot here. There's another sniper over there. Can't quite reach him from where I'm at, but that's okay. You're going down there, and uh, almost got him there. They're gonna go around and try to get to me, I think, because they know I'm up here. Let's see, gotta block my area. Oop, somebody, somebody got splatted down there. Hopefully that was that guy. I'm trying to defend this middle spot. Now, there's a really good sniping post over there. I just need to get to it, so let me see if I can make this uh, big jump. Nope, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go like this and up. Oh no, didn't get most of that pipe. I'm very vulnerable down here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna try to defend this spot. And there's a roller down there. Now I've got my bombs, so I'm gonna do some bombs away. And uh, hopefully that will help get a lot of this terrain after that roller there. I didn't take him out, but hopefully whoever's over there will. Ooh, there we go. Oh, almost got him. Ah, I gotta get, get out of here before they get me. Cause I'm like very vulnerable up top. I think that they know I'm up here, but they're not quite getting me yet. Let's see if I can uh, throw one like that. Will that get him? Oh, almost. Oh, there they are. Ah, splat, 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 splat. Ah, oh, somebody had a killer whale anyways, but uh, he got me. Yeah, I gotta be moving. We're doing okay, but we're losing a lot of terrain down there. I'm gonna try to quickly move to the bottom spot. So yeah, these two maps are the uh, the ones that we had in the test fire, so they know them a bit better. But speaking of maps, we're about to get a big update tonight. We're getting the Port Mackerel map, which is really cool. It's, uh, it's kind of like a shipping container area, so there's a lot of platforms to hide on, but also a lot of uh, different like nooks and crannies to go through. There we go. I got somebody, I think. Couldn't tell there too, too well. I'm gonna try to make sure this platform is covered. Okay, ooh, there's an Inkazooka be careful because they might come after me if they see that I'm up here. There might be somebody over there. You can you can shoot so far with this thing. I should probably be trying to get into other areas though because the top platform is really in trouble. I'm going to see if I can super jump to someone over there. Oh, there we go. We're going, we're going. And I'm going to try to defend this place. See if I can get back up here where they had me before. Go, 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 go. Oh no! <laughs> jump, 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 jump. This is where I want to be, but I can't... Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Charge up my ink, and I really need to start getting some terrain or we're going to be in trouble here. Defend this. Someone is at the platform, though, taking stuff out. Bombs away! Help, help my buddies out here. Let's throw a couple. Throw, 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 and... I feel like we lost a lot of the other terrain, but we got some of the platform. The roller up top didn't quite get all of it, as you can see. The, uh, the northmost part, and... Ah, uh, yeah. Not too far apart, but we lost that one. All right, gonna try to do better next time. Oh, we've upgraded all three pieces of gear now, which is good. And they all have the same ability. So I think I got three quick respawns. And as I mentioned, the main ability on your gear is the one that is weighed the most. The sub ones are only about a third as effective. And if you keep getting the same ability, it's actually not very effective at all. So you want to have different stuff. So that's pretty unfortunate, but I'm going to be switching up this gear anyways. I noticed this hat is pretty cool because it looks like it says bird on the back of it. If you look, I'm going to try to squid a bit over here, but if you guys can get a good shot of the hat there. <laughs> It looks like it says bird in the, in the uh, squid language, the inkling uh, text there. But yeah, it's kind of cool. I just happened to buy it because it had a good ability on it, but uh, 
Gotta get my ink up a little bit here. There's a Kraken, but luckily even the Kraken can't get up here because you can't uh, actually jump up. It, it blocks you on the top of this one, so I'm gonna try to get him. Uh, I run out of ink so fast. I really need a, a good ink saver uh, ability on this or uh, ink, less ink usage. There we go. This is what we want. Throw a bunch of these bombs all over the place, and uh, hopefully that'll get somebody. Yeah, we splatted someone. All right, I love the bomb rush. It's a really good special, and those splat bombs cover a lot of area. Almost got that guy. All right, they're gonna try to go up on that middle platform. I could move up there, but I'm such a sitting duck. You gotta jump between those little crates really quickly if you're gonna do well. All right, let's try to uh, get whoever's coming over here. Uh, let's be careful and throw a bomb down there. Maybe that'll get him. Oh, there's another one right there. Jeez. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get me if I'm not careful. Get him, get him, get him. Uh, <laughs> I need to get more ink, and hopefully, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that's so close. I'm gonna try to. They're gonna try to sneak up on me, so I'm gonna sneak around here. And hopefully, get him. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I think I got hit by the ink strike. Jeez, the ink strike to the middle. That was brutal. I thought I was gonna get killed by the uh, <laughs> by the guy I was fighting, but no, I got ink striked. All right, jump, jump, jump. Try to get some of this train. You can hold down Y to uh, to strife around, so it helps you move a little easier if you're having trouble moving around. All right, let's jump over here. Back to my perch. I, uh, I try to find a good sniping spot and stick to it if I can, but ew, ew, that was what I heard before. It was somebody turning into a Kraken. They can't get me up here, but they're going to try to do something as soon as they're done, I think. Let's throw a bomb down there. i got to make sure I know where this guy is when they start coming in. Oh, there's somebody. Oh. Uh, <laughs> ink tip, no, man, you can see my aim is still not great, but I'm helping out a bit by inking at least, even if I miss people. There we go. All right, oh, we got my bombs away. I'm going to try to throw as many as I can and uh, get them down here as well. Uh, <laughs> got to splat this area or I'm going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, got to get them. going to jump and uh, snipe. <laughs> this is rough. They're gonna come around the other way, I bet. There we go, I knew they were coming. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck in my ink. Go, 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 go. Yeah, they've got a lot of the middle, but if we're fast, we might be able to get it. Go, go, go. Snipe, snipe, snipe. And, oh, there's a guy right there. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Get the middle. Oh. <laughs> so intense. All right, we might have gotten that one, except we got an ink strike right at the end. A lot of clever players will time their ink strike special to get a big chunk you can see in the center there. Yeah, we did it! All right! That's gonna be it for this one, guys. So, in addition to that new map, Port Mackerel, we're also getting ranked battles with the Splat Zones mode, and I'll be playing that soon here. That's where you have to defend a very narrow piece of terrain. We leveled up. Well, let's, let's finish up by going to the shops and see what new weapon we got, because we've got a bit of cash. And speaking of new weapons, there's going to be a new weapon with this update tonight. There's so much new content just coming out of nowhere. We're going to get the NZAP 85, which has the Splat Bomb sub-weapon and the Echo Locator special. So you can see that's the old zapper for the NES, and there's also an 89 version, which looks like the newer orange one that I had. I didn't buy the original at the time. Uh, you're looking fairly fresh. Yes, I, I think you have what it takes to wield my 52 gal. Uh, go on, give it a try. The 52 gal is a heavy hitter with an extra large nozzle for shooting massive amounts of ink. It's powerful, but pretty slow. If you find yourself in trouble, throw up a splash wall and retreat. The killer whale can be used offensively or defensively, so it's good for fighters who are ready to read the flow of battle. So yeah, this is a pretty decent weapon. I haven't been too effective with it, but I gotta, I gotta practice that. And you saw I got splatted by the 92 gallon before. Let's see what's in the shops real quick here. I probably want to buy a, uh, <laughs> a few new items here. Ooh, ink saver main. How is this beanie on me? Let's see. <laughs> Looking very distinguished there. I want something with Ink Saver on it. I think my clothes might have it. And if we have any two-star gear, that would be amazing. But it doesn't look like it. You gotta level up a bit before you start getting the uh, the two-star items more common. And then you get three-star as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping here. I'm gonna check my gear and pick some new clothes for next time. Thank you guys for watching. And we're gonna keep fighting and try out the new map and the new weapon, hopefully, pretty soon here. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for some more Splatoon.